What's up guys, Glenn with Hustler Hacks and I just landed in Austin and here with my brother, Bro Hacks. You have seen him in a couple of other videos and he will probably be in a couple of more now that I'm here. Yep. And uh, we're gonna hit up this easy pawn first and last time here I was here in Austin, they did have some games, uh, games that were pretty expensive. Um, but I did have shoes and other stuff, so we're gonna see what there is and maybe go to family thrift other thrift uh, stores around here Let's see what we find So they do have quite a bit of games, but unfortunately everything's like way overpriced like NBA jams like 20 bucks um, let me see like Smash Bros. Wii U $54.99 and Let's see what else was in here? Like, let's just see like a standard, uh, regular game like for the Wii, uh, Mario Kart, $29.99. So I'm gonna have to pass on a lot of these games, unfortunately. So they have a lot of shoes up here on this top rack. And like randomly, this Jordan 1 Royal Blues, $221.99. Kyrie 2s, uh, $120 for these. And we're gonna have to look at these even closer, see if those are even real. They got some other ones. Uh, anything else catches my eye. Some aids for kids, 54 bucks. Uh, LeBron 12, Christmas, these are 99 bucks. And the uh, Jordan 5 Hornets, also 99 bucks. Altitude 13s, and they want 129 for them. Um, not in bad shape. Uh, let's see what size are these size 14 they're pretty huge and behind them looks like they got some jordan 5 low 69.99 for kids um, pretty good shape too so check out this tag right here 221.99 look at the back it's like an associate put fake on there which for pawn shop i gotta say that's pretty messed up they still want 220 for them and they have some infrared twos that are pretty beat up. Carmine sixes for kids, $89.99. Um, really beat up shoes and a lot of high prices. $120 for these beat up foams. Uh, what's on the other side over here? Uh, check out these Kobe 9 EXTs, $169.99. People have been finding these at Ross, so uh, way too high. And then Fruity Pebble Foams, $179.99. So these prices are insane uh, here at this pawn shop. But let's go check out the jerseys. A um, couple of cowboys, see like a Des Bryant one here. Just like a standard replica jersey. Astros uh, jersey, buy one, get one free. So let's see if there's anything good. Checking back here, looks like a double star cowboys jersey. Uh, anything else? Mavericks. Oh, keep dropping these jerseys. Um, let's see, looks like a Knicks jersey sewn. 33. Can't see if it's Ewing. Should be Ewing. I keep dropping these jerseys. Anything? Let me see if I can get the tags. Let's try to get this out. And there we go. Knicks authentic jersey. So I'll see about this one. All right. We left the uh, easy pawn and. I know it would have been awesome to get some of the shoes there, but really high priced, like uh, Altitude 13s, high priced, um, especially those Kobe 9s, the EXT, those are like Ross finds, and they had them there for like super, super high, but the jerseys is what we're going to talk about, because as you guys saw on the sign, buy one, get one free, yep. and they tried pulling a thing, they said, oh, <laughs> buy one, get one half off, yeah. I was like, no, nah, the sign said, buy one, get one free, don't pull that on us, so we're going to take advantage of that, and uh, let me see, so the first thing that we saw of course was this number 33 cowboys double star jersey and uh 33 of course reminds everybody tony dorsett cowboys um so when i saw it i was like you know what johnson i have no clue who that is and that's what kind of makes this jersey rare so that it's kind of like a player that no one really knows i don't know if it was like a practice squad player something but really what makes it worth good money we have the Apex uh, tag at the end. Let me show you. Okay, so 1995, a uh, little patch sewn on there. It's long, longer for the players that they wear, size 46. Um, usually jerseys, like if they're um, an authentic jersey, you'll get like 48 or size 40 or something. But a 46 usually is like a player, um, poly player issued jersey. 
and beautifully sewn i can tell you that much looks yep. great uh the cowboys star in there um double star jersey like talked about before exactly what the war on 95 and this is not like a random um someone that maybe someone just put this random name on there or anything this is exact font exactly exactly what they look like in 95 so a great looking jersey and remember what did you say when you first saw this one too yeah i don't know what to think about it, it almost looked like uh it was fake or something but you know hustler hacks knows what he's talking about when it comes to the jerseys <laughs> so he was kind of like you know what i think that one's kind of like a fake jersey he wasn't too sure that's what's going to happen if you don't really know too much about jerseys jersey stuff i just love so uh we had to think about it for a while like how are we going to make good money from this so i told him you know what pick up this jersey pick up the des bryant one um which we saw there nothing special about the des bryant one i mean it is a reebok um replica jersey regular jersey which you already know you could probably get like 25 bucks for it so yeah. i told him if you're gonna get it for free pick this one up and then buy this one and shoot high on the price um i told him probably like 250 range i would yeah. shoot for maybe a best offer of like 150 will come in i wouldn't mind taking 150 bucks for it but i mean obviously if it's like emmett aikman you're gonna make good money but even the players that you don't really know too much about people just want to collect this stuff so this was an easy buy um and then of course when you saw it you're like oh yeah, man like this one i mean awesome. patrick ewing i mean and especially seeing the quality on this one you could tell too the yeah. quality was like Looks just very great nice. on this one so this is an authentic starter jerseys from the 90s um there we go size 52 nice. we got the new york Knicks logo starter logo nba authentics this jersey sells for about 150 bucks and the price was 99 dollars, but you get one for free so I did take the Nitsky jersey uh, for the Packers, and this is a champion jersey, sells for about 60 bucks. So either way, um, with both of these combined, it should make at least, after fees and everything, like 80 to 100 bucks. Sells for about 60 range, sells for about 150 range. See if I can get a little bit more, of course. And then yeah. on his end, I mean, just really high, because he paid 35 bucks for this jersey. It was on sale, 49, went down to 34.99. With tax and of course the Get Des one, one free. was free so a uh, pretty good little beginning taste of Austin yep. and great deals so far and we're gonna go to the family thrift center next uh -huh. see what we can find all right so right off the bat fake Aaron Foster Jersey um, what else Marquise Colston Jersey uh, Cowboys, Barber, Marion Barber, DeMarcus Ware, McAllister jersey, so nothing really that great. Did find a Matt Ryan jersey, so I'll uh, probably get that. Just left Family Thrift Center, show you what uh, we found. So while I'm in town, I want to help out my brother. He, he asked like for different tips, things I could help him with. And yep. um, he found a Matt Ryan kids jersey old school Falcons logo and stuff. It's not like the on field jersey type thing, but it was only three bucks. And I was just telling him he could sell this for probably like 15 on the low end. And then he also found this grind and brew coffee maker. So yep. only seven bucks, I uh, just moved into a new place trying to save some money. So instead of getting a new coffee maker and a grinder, two in one right here there you go and they give you like three days in case it doesn't work or anything but he tested it out at least to see if it at least turned on and stuff like that so pretty cool find there and um with the jersey like i said not like a huge flip but um you know he's he's sold how many items have you sold on ebay so far um roughly i guess like around 40 i would say and really starting out yeah and you've um sold like a couple items per month more or less right yeah and even like a lot of the emails that i get like hey how can i sell a bunch of stuff on fba and ebay and i want to make a bunch of money and it's like you know what chill things take time and um that's what kind of we're doing here just kind of showing him different things you can make uh money on like this is mm -hmm. like an easy ten dollars profit after fees and everything but every dollar counts especially you try to build up that account and just make some um you know easy money easy flips so uh, have patience things take time but find you know little flips here and there and it'll all add up in the end
All right, now we're gonna go to Thrift Land. All right, Thrift Land, we're here, front row parking. Let's see what we find. Let's go. All right, well, this kind of sucks. The only thing I've found, look at all these books. They sell for about 15 bucks on Amazon, but they are restricted. So pretty much uh, nothing to see here, honestly. All right, so nothing at Thriftland, but now we're gonna go to Thrift Town, which is Thrift across Town. the street. And uh, they have a big banner, it says sale today, if you can see it, that's Thrift Town. Usually their prices are a little bit more expensive, but sometimes they do have um, like, you know, some good high quality finds, but I don't know, we'll see to the last uh, place we're gonna go to today. Mm -hmm. So let's make it good. Checking out their games, seems like nothing but like music games. Dead or Alive 3, which isn't worth much, so nothing here either. So nothing at Thrift Town, it was kind of packed, probably because they had that sale. Um, Would have been better getting here earlier, of course, but the uh, jerseys, of course, made it a uh, pretty awesome little mini thrift finds for the day so a little preview of austin yep. and a lot more to come and uh today's monday says so my monday video and i try to get uh videos on mondays and thursdays but for this week only i'm gonna try to push out as many videos as possible since i am here in austin very nice and hope you guys liked the little jersey finds and of course we would have liked to pick up some uh jordan one uh, royal blues but of course, fakes that didn't go down. Well, unauthorized, I should say. But hope you guys liked the video. My name is Glenn with Hustler Hacks. This is Bro Hacks. Go out and get it.